A classic HVDC high voltage direct current converter station consists of several key components, which are typically arranged in a specific layout. Here's an elaboration of the components and their arrangement. AC yard, located on one side of the valve halls, includes switching equipment, example, circuit breakers, disconnectors, transformers, example, step up or step down transformers. Extensive filtering equipment, example, harmonic filters, capacitor banks, capacitor towers for reactive power compensation. Purpose. Connects the HVDC station to the AC grid. Provides voltage transformation and switching capabilities. Filters out harmonics and other disturbances to prevent interference with the AC grid. Valve halls. House the power electronic devices, example, thyristors, IGBTs, that convert AC to DC or vice versa. Typically arranged in a modular fashion, with each module containing a set of valves and associated cooling systems. DC yard, located on the other side of the valve halls, includes DC switching equipment, example, circuit breakers, disconnectors. Filtering equipment, example, DC filters, smoothing reactors. Purpose, connects the HVDC station to the DC transmission line. Provides switching and filtering capabilities for the DC output. DC hall buildings, house the DC switching and filtering equipment. Typically located indoors, adjacent to the valve halls. Purpose. Provides a controlled environment for the DC switching and filtering equipment. Protects the equipment from harsh weather conditions and other external factors. Spare parts area, typically located adjacent to the valve halls or DC hall buildings. Purpose. Stores spare parts and equipment for maintenance and repair purposes. In summary, the classic HVDC converter station design features a larger AC yard with extensive filtering and switching equipment, a central valve hall area with power electronic devices, and a smaller DC yard with switching and filtering equipment. The DC hall buildings provide a controlled environment for the DC equipment, while the spare parts area supports maintenance and repair activities.